Welcome to another game of Catan. Today we are in first position, and I'm looking at the 5 9 10 going off to the 3 to 1 port, 9 3 6. Let's see, there's a lot of sheep on the board, decent amount of wheat. The 5 9 excuse me, 5 9 10 is really tempting going off this 3 to 1. We can double up on the ore. The question is, what else will we have? Because I'm sure the 843 gets taken or the 8310. Let's see. There should be, I think there should be a weed out. Let's see, one, two, three. I mean, even if we can get on this nine, the 936 gets taken. The 9114 most likely gets taken. The question is, do we end up with the 3611? If we end up with the 3611, the 5 9 10 is a no-brainer. But what else makes sense here? Well, you could also do the 3 4 8, going off to the 3 to 1 again. Maybe even going to this 10 8. But what I really like about this 5 9 10 spot is it really closes out the ore, minus this 4 10 8 spot. So it's just a matter on matter of getting on enough wheat to make it worth it. And I think it's worth the risk, especially given that we most likely will get this 3 to 1. In second position, you could do the 4, 10, 8, and then bank on getting on a solid amount of wheat. Where's the sheep port here? Honestly, the 3, 8, 10 could be a play as well, just because there's so many high sheep outs. Then again, you do want to get on ore here since it's kind of locked up. So this 4, 10, 8 looks good. 9, 3, 6 looks decent. Lacking a little bit on ore. 11, 5, 4. I mean, we should at least get on this 6. I mean, even the 6, 12, 5. I don't think that gets taken here. Maybe the 6, 11, 12. People really like starting with that free road. I mean, if we could start off with the free road too, that would be huge. We will have quite a blockable setup though. Because I doubt, very unlikely we get on like the 936 for example. Most likely don't get on the 296 either. That would be very useful. That 9 would get blocked quite a bit, but... Let's see, blue really running the time down. I think I'd take the 4, 10, 8 here. Okay, but he takes the 4, 8, 3. It's decent as well. The 10, 8 could get taken though. Fourth position could just take the 2, 8, sorry, the 2, 9, 6, 10, 8. Not super likely. Or even the 6, 9, 3 and the 10, 8. So that's what worries me about this. Also, unless he's really counting on getting a lot of brick here. I don't know how useful this brick port's going to be. So I'm, I'm assuming blue is counting on this 3, 6, 11 spot being open. Which will be decent for him. So if blue's counting on the 3, 6, 11 spot being open, which is a good possibility. Let's see, 3, 8, 10 gets taken. 3, 9, 6 gets taken. Yeah, maybe someone takes the 12, 6, 5. 4, 11, 9 most likely gets taken. Interesting. I don't know if I like this road here. I think the 11, 4, 9 likely gets taken. I mean, if anything, we would end up taking it. So I don't really like the road here. Yeah, it's very risky. But at least that takes a pretty solid spot away from blue here with the 396. Okay, I really like Black's placements. He's got the coordinated threes. He's not on brick, but he'll get to the five most likely unless blue places on the 10 5. Now we still have the 3 4 6 open for us. Also the 9 4 11. So he should be good on wheat unless orange takes the 4, 11, 6. 
and then blue takes the 4, 11, 9, then we're in a tough spot. That actually put us on a really tough spot. I think at that point, I don't know, maybe you go for the ore port, but the 11, 12 is disgusting. And you wouldn't want to do the 2, 6 here either. So that'd be the worst case scenario. But orange really is probably looking for a port. And if he's assuming he gets on the 11, 4, 9 to get wood, maybe he just goes for 10, 5, just straight on the wheat port. That hurts black as well. I think black's in a really good position here. Lacking ore, but he's probably going to go to this 3 to 1 pretty quick. Then he'll be able to port off his wood. So black will most likely be our main target here. Oh no. So this could be our worst nightmare coming to fruition. Blue taking the 4, 11, 9 really hurts us. And he does. Wow. So it started off looking like a decent setup. I mean, we have the 9-2. I think that's probably what we have to take here. Coordinated 9s. I mean, that's okay, but... That's definitely not an optimal setup. But what else do we have here? I mean... Yeah, I don't know what else we have that makes sense. I think we have to take the 9-2. Not a ton of wheat. The 3-1 to will help us. But great defensive positionings by our, our placement or our opponents here. Let me know in the comments if there's a different spot you would take here. But the board's just really locked down. I mean, the 4-8, decent amount of... 4-8, I mean... Yeah, no, I wouldn't even get the wood port there. Yeah, let me know in the comments if there's a different spot you would take besides the 2-9. I don't see anything here. And we might as well sneak on this 6-2. 5-2 is not bad either, but we just don't need the brick. Yeah, so this looks this looks ugly. It'll be an interesting game though, because it's a or wheat sheep. We have coordinated nines, but just low production. Weird ratio. I mean not a super weird ratio. But we're easily blocked on the five or the nine. So this will be a hard one to close out for sure. Yeah, I think that's a good block by our opponent. I think you steal from black or blue here. And I'm not just saying that because it's not me. I think it's going to take a while for us to, to ramp up here. And that 9 hurts us quite a bit. Black already going for the dev cards, which we don't like. That means we have to match them. It will be hard for black to compete with us, though. Blue already with the settlement. We already have a city. I don't necessarily want to put a city down right away. Black uses the knight. Does he block us? Maybe blue. Okay. And he rolls the seven. Now if he's counting cards, he knows we have the city in hand. Could be a good block. Blue has one card. He has a settlement already, but he does decide to block blue. Blue's in a decent position. Okay, we could get the city off the bat. I think we are going to do that, actually. Reason being, it's going to be difficult, I think, for us to compete with black unless we increase our output. So I think we put the city down. This will make us more of a blocking target, though. Really, it's going to come down to if the nines hit or not. If the nines hit, we'll be in the game. If not, then we're out. I feel like the 5, 9, 10 is a decent setup, though. 
Blue already complaining. I, I mean, Blue, I think, is in a decent position here as well. Orange is honestly the only one I, I don't think is looking that good. I mean, the wood port kind of helps him, but he's only on five pips of wood. He's on no ore. So, I think if he sneaks over to the eight, he'll do okay. We are on a ridiculous amount of sheep, though. Let's see if we can... Make something happen with this sheep. I don't necessarily want a four for one here. If I can avoid it. Okay, we hit the 10. I'm assuming we're the next target to be blocked, so I'm not that worried. Orange rolls the six, black with the sheep. Don't really want to give orange the city here, but I would do it for three cards. Okay, just places the settlement. He maybe would have traded two cards there. I don't know if it's worth two cards, though. Six rolling out, though. It would have given us a dev card. Okay, we do have another city here. I think we're going to go for the dev cards, though. Just to stay ahead of black. I want to keep black blocked. Okay, I'm assuming we get blocked here. Let's see, orange. I think the nine's a really good block. It really hurts all three of us. But he solo blocks the nine. Interesting. So who do we want to block here? I mean, we want to most likely block black. The three's not a great block, though. But where else do we block him at? Orange going for devs, too. I guess what else do you do, right? Black has the wood, which will be helpful. So he's probably close to a settlement here. Maybe block him on the six. The three does hurt both of them though. And he already has sheep, so this just hurts him more. And it hurts blue as well. So hopefully we roll a nine or a 10 here. I think we four for one. Really banking on a year of plenty or road building to get us to this nine. Black not even entertaining trades here. And we get the road building. Okay, we're definitely getting blocked here. I think the 9 is the best block, but he'll probably block us solo on the 9 or again. Okay, he does steal from black. He might steal from me here. But I think he sees that black's getting close to the city. I don't necessarily need to use the road building, so I think I'm going to hold on to it. Yeah, I think we're going to hold on to it. Weird block. I don't think you block orange here. I think definitely mirror block black. Yeah, <laughs> orange is confused also. I don't think you block orange here. I think they definitely have the worst setup, but that six has been hitting. Five's been hitting quite a bit here too. Another steal out of black. So they see black's getting close to the uh, settlement here. Everyone fighting for army though. Solid 10 block. Yeah, there's a lot of sheep on the board right now. It's tempting to just steal just so we can continue pace for army. I think we'll just go ahead and use the road building now. We might want to use our monopoly soon, and we don't want to freak people out with what we have. So we'll go ahead and do this. I don't think it's worth monoing the sheep necessarily. However, that three does probably get blue a dev card now. No, I think, no, I mean, 
I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. It really depends on if the nines roll or not. Okay, we hit the two. There is some ore on the board. I think we are going to take this. Oh, but he takes it with blue. So that definitely gives him the settlement. He might just road settle, honestly. Okay, he doesn't. Yeah, I thought just to screw us up. Okay, that's huge. That gives us two more dev cards. I don't mind that 10 as much, although it has been hitting quite a bit. Maybe I do mind the 10, but the 9 is way scarier. Okay, let's play the knight now. Orange is not that scary yet. I think black's the scariest at this point. And we do get the wheat. Solid six block. Question is, do we want a four for one or a wool here? We're sitting at five. I think we'll be fine. I say that as a 10 hits. I think we should still be fine. We're on pace to get army. We have a mono on deck. But I think if anyone's going to compete with us, Blue also could compete with us, but his port doesn't help him out at all, whereas black has a lot of flexibility with the 3-1. to one. That city is huge, though. Okay, we do have another city now. I think we still might go for the dev cards, though. Tempting a mono here. Yeah, really tempting to model the wheat. Okay, we locked down army. Do we model the wheat here? There's not a ton of wheat. I don't know if it's worth it at this point. Plus, we don't have the 3 to 1 port yet active. So let's just solidify army here. We will be a blocking target, but I think this mono will really help us out in getting that last city. And the nine will keep, sorry, the uh, knights will keep our nines unblocked. Okay, we're getting blocked indefinitely, probably on the nine or the ten. Well, on the nine. Okay, or on the five. I don't mind that. We have some sheep on deck. At this point, if you're my opponents, I don't think you focus on army as much. Especially given that I just have four death cards in hand. Because at this point, blue needs to fight orange for road. Because it's a toss-up. Blue could get it. Black still fights for army. That's the only thing he really can do. But he could also build to it. He's on a decent amount of production. But the threes just have to hit. The nines have been hitting for us. Okay, there is a dumb amount of wheat now on the board. I think we have to model the wheat. That was the best time to do it. Okay, let's get a city here. This does give us a settle, and then we can get a another dev card. So I think we're going to do this. And that's just what we wanted. Wow, so we have the win in hand now. Yep, good block. At this point, you have to block me. I thought black would be more of a threat here, but I can't wait to see the numbers after the fact. Those nines were crucial. 
And I talk about this in another video, but the only way to stop a setup like this is, yeah, blocking one of these nines. Blocking the five doesn't do much. The 10 doesn't do much. I think our opponents really made mistakes here not blocking the nines. Yeah, nines hit a good amount this game. Dev cards didn't get the year of plenty. Twos, threes hit an okay amount. Nines just crushed this game. Six. Yeah, decent game. I think the nines are obviously the biggest part of this, but if there's one learning takeaway from this video. It's if your opponent who's taking the lead quickly is on a coordinated resource, you just block one of the coordinated resources. I think my opponents made the mistake of not blocking the nine wheat or nine ore enough. So that's what let us take the game away. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.